my name is Evan Edmiston and I'm with TechRep Marketing. And today we're going to be talking about the AutoMix feature on the TouchMix 30 Pro. The AutoMix feature has several applications. It's great for your next D&D discussion panel, live conferences, presentations, and even live music, to a degree. No, the auto mixer will not mix your band for you, but it can be a huge assistance, especially if you do not have an engineer running your board. For panel discussions, conferences, and presentations where there are multiple microphones on stage with multiple people talking at any given time, the auto mix feature will allow you to have all those microphones open while decreasing the risk of feedback. Allow me to explain. So it's important to note that the auto mix feature on the touch mix is a gain sharing auto mixer. This, opposed to a gating auto mixer, will adjust the gain of each channel selected based on the input coming through that channel. Essentially, it'll turn the gain up on the microphone when someone is talking and turn down the gain on the microphones when it's not currently in use. Some common issues that engineers run into when trying to mix this scenario live would be the inability to know when and who the next speaker will be. This can lead to a quiet microphone when someone's speaking or a microphone left with the gain up, up too high while someone else is speaking. This situation can cause feedback through the system and no one wants to hear that, am I right? Another common issue is different people speak at different volumes. Some people might be real quiet talkers while others might speak very loudly. You might run into someone who won't get close enough to the microphone, or inevitably, someone who thinks they need to eat the microphone to be heard. The AutoMix feature won't get the slobber off your microphone, but it will adjust the levels appropriately to each user. So let's take a look at how we would set this up. The AutoMix feature is, well, automatic. Simply select the menu and then go to the AutoMix feature. This brings up the AutoMix screen. Then simply select the channels that you would desire to have this feature on and adjust the levels. You can also adjust the maximum attenuation knob. The higher the attenuation, the lower the noise level will be. By default, it's set to 60. You can also adjust the sensitivity of each channel to adjust for loud or quiet talkers. Each input has two meters. The green meter on the left is the normal input meter for the channel. The blue meter on the right is the amount of gain the auto mixer is applying to the channel. There's also the ability to put this auto mix function into two separate groups by toggling the in and out switch. The other way the auto mixer can be utilized is with a live band performance. So the auto mixer won't mix your whole band, but it will help when, let's say, you have three similar instruments. In our example, let's use backup vocalists. If you engage the auto mixer on all three of the backup vocalists, it will add a certain level among those three vocal channels. In this scenario, you'll want to set the maximum attenuation to a much lower dB than if it was a panel discussion. If one of your vocalists decides to take a solo, it'll boost that channel according to the maximum attenuation as if an engineer was writing the fader for solo. So I hope you enjoyed this quick how-to on the QSC TouchMix 30 Pro and the AutoMix feature. Until next time, play loud.